what's going on you guys what's up welcome back to another fitness video kind of slash like car vlog um, a lot of you are saying you really love all the new fitness content and my new shred fitness series so I wanted to thank you guys so much I'm always trying to gauge like what you want to see mixed in with what I'm passionate about and what I like filming but I'm so excited to see all of you so excited for a new fitness series on my channel so I just wanted to thank you really quick for all the encouragement and just all the love on my first two episodes so if you're just passing by my channel or you randomly found this video what's up I'm Jordan right now I'm in a 12 week fat loss cut where I'm sharing with you guys all of my workouts all of my meals and what I eat in a day lots of vegan and vegetarian options and just kind of how my body changes throughout the next 12 weeks so I'm basically like documenting this whole journey with you guys I know so many of you also originally found my channel through meal prep and weight loss and like workout videos so a lot of you are on your own fitness journey as well so I find that sharing the meals and the information back and forth with you guys has been really cool um, also just looking through other like video comments these past few weeks a lot of you said you missed the more casual videos or like the car vlogs so we're kind of gonna like mix some of this uh, footage in with this fitness video today but I'm really really happy with my first week progress with the cut so I lost almost three pounds and I honestly feel amazing like I have a long way to go you guys know I have really big goals for myself and I've got like 30 more pounds to lose um, but even just losing three this first week and sticking very very strict to every single macro that my coach Leah has set out for me I'm already feeling incredible I mentioned in my last video but I'm at such an amazing place in my mindset and my mentality right now I've committed to this 100% I am not quitting like I just feel incredible and I know for sure that starting this cut this is something I'm going to be able to finish out and that's just like super exciting for me um, so that was my progress for like week one um, we're gonna shoot into a clip of the workout I actually did this morning it was a full body workout. I was dying. A lot of you said definitely keep the workout clips coming. Um, so we're, I'm going to show you guys that whole workout and then we're going to go into everything that I'm eating today. Um, if you're curious, I'm eating around like 1,650 calories. I can leave my macros in the description box down below. Yeah, right now it's actually 427. I'm actually just out running a few errands before I have to pick up Christian later. I have to drop off. My entire trunk is filled with stuff from Goodwill. Um, and I'm going to return some shoes at Kohl's for a different size. And I wanted to just kind of show you guys what I'm eating for today as well. So I brought one of these snacks on the go it's the one birthday cake bar I got this from Target these are incredible I believe I've tried the little like birthday cake bites uh, but never the bars I found these at Target the other day I think they only come like four in a box but they're awesome they're 20 grams of protein 7 grams of fat 22 carb um, so I'm fitting one bar a day into my macros as of right now and I've been loving these but I also filmed what I ate earlier in the day today so we'll get into all that um, but yeah, lots of content kind of jumbled up into this one fitness vlog. So hope you guys enjoy. Please subscribe. Give this a thumbs up if you're liking the fitness content and let's shoot into the workout I did this morning.
All right, so I just got a grilled chicken salad from The Habit. If you've watched my channel for a really long time, um, I've gotten this and shared this multiple times, but I take the chicken out since I don't eat meat and I put in a vegan patty. So I usually can like make something vegan from home. I'll just get home and I'll choose like one of these vegan burgers or like meatless crumbles and I'll just do some type of veggie option on top. But The Habit, they actually offer a vegan patty now. So I just have them sub the chicken for a vegan patty. I don't get any dressing because their ranch dressing and their Caesar is very, very high in fat. Um, and it's very heavily like dairy based. So I just choose to go with the Bolt House Farms Creamy Caesar. This is vegetarian, of course, but not vegan, uh, but it has a lower amount of dairy, and this is actually a yogurt-based dressing, so the macros are better since I'm being really strict on my cut and on all of my macros. So 45 cal for two tablespoons, 2.5 fat, four carb, and two protein. I'm telling you, the taste on this is unbeatable. They have so many flavors. I always get this from Albertsons. So I basically just get croutons, shredded carrots, Christian singing. Um, cucumbers, grilled onions. I asked them to substitute the raw onions for grilled and a veggie patty on top. And this is also a lot of volume of salad. So usually sometimes I'll split this up into two meals just because it's so incredibly, um, I was gonna say fulfilling. It is fulfilling, but filling as well. So yeah, this is just a pretty staple meal for me that I have all the time. It's absolutely delicious, not too pricey, and it's just a really good option if you're on the go. So that was my first big meal of the day. You guys know I do intermittent fasting. So I believe it was like 1.30 p.m. I had that salad. And then I just wanted to show you here two of my staple like snack meals that I have. I was just having some carrots and celery along with the no calorie Walden Farms Ranch dipping sauce, which is actually surprisingly tasty for having no calories. It doesn't taste like chemically or gross in my opinion. I really like it. So I just did two servings of the veggies along with that ranch. And then this is also a really good snack option that I love. It's the Quaker Caramel Rice Cakes. So these do have 50 calories per rice cake. Um, it's just, you can also use these as well for like a skinny sandwich. If you do eat meat, you can put like turkey slices on top. Um, here what I'm going to do though is just use sugar-free jelly and whipped peanut butter because it actually has a lot less calories and macros. As you can see, I was just spreading like a really thin layer on each rice cake and I was weighing everything out just because I want to be as close to the tea as possible on my macros. I was doing one serving or one tablespoon of the whipped peanut butter and then one serving of the jelly and making a huge ass mess as you can see because I'm five years old. Um, so I was just doing two thin layers of those and then one serving of these unsweetened chocolate chips which was about 70 calories for 30 grams. So I was just weighing it out again to be really consistent on trying to hit my macros like literally to a T. Uh, but this ended up being super filling, great afternoon snack, highly recommend you guys try. Um, they also have white cheddar rice cakes, which are really, really good. Uh, but today I was just feeling like the peanut butter and chocolate chip combo. And as you can see, what am I doing with my hands? Trying to make like a cute <laughs> Instagram picture visual for you guys. But yeah, this was really bomb. And that was what I had before dinner. All right, so it's now like 4.47 p.m. Um, I've been in the car or like out running errands for maybe like two hours. I hope you guys enjoyed all that workout footage and seeing what the first few meals were that I ate for the day. Um, I'm pretty much done with all my errands. I'm about to head home. Just wanted to update you. Let's get home. I'll show you what I'm having for dinner and kind of how I finished off the day in my fitness pal and with all of my macros. And we'll kind of close out the video there. All right, moving on to dinner. Um, this was about like 5.45 or 6 p.m. I wanted to do some vegetarian lettuce wraps. I was taking one of those Beyond Meat burgers and I was just cooking it on the stove. Took three lettuce cups here and was just filling them with tomatoes. Here you can add really any type of toppings that you want or vegetables or you could even do rice in there. Um, I did have a cookie earlier in the day though and that one protein bar so I didn't have too many carbs left so I didn't add any rice. I took one fourth a cup of skinny mozzarella cheese and I was just putting this on top of the plant-based burgers and then I put a lid over top it only took like a minute to cook super quick and then once your protein source is done all you do is just chop it up into three little servings to fit each lettuce cup and you're done this is honestly the easiest quickest meal and it's so tasty I know it might look a little basic here but it is really really filling and um, you can always just add more additional veggies this is just something I love and I'm also really lucky to say my son likes this as well all right, finally back home. It feels like it's been like the longest day. Just wanted to come back on really quick and end off the video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for just following along my journey. It means more than I can say and put into words. I really, really appreciate you. If you were new and you enjoyed this video, I'd love to have you subscribe um, and give the video a like if you guys are enjoying all this fitness content. Also be sure to follow my Instagram because I have been really diligent daily on sharing my meals or snacks or like macros for certain things and sharing my fitness pal with you guys. So I'd love that to also be a resource for you since I'm putting a lot of time into 
to doing a lot more Instagram stories lately for you guys. Um, so I hope you, you know, enjoy my little Instagram fam over there. I'd love to have you join and per usual, I think that's it. Be sure to subscribe. I appreciate you guys so much and I'll see you in the next episode.